Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Oh Hello Living. Today I am going through my memory book that I kept for Go Wild. So this was the first time that I've ever done something like this, and I learned a lot of things along the way. So I'm gonna flip through this, show you what I have done. There's a couple more things I need to finalize in it, but other than that, it is all documented and all set for the memory keeping. And then I also have this planny pack from Erin Condren as well, where I kept any bits and bobs and random souvenirs from the trip. And I'm just gonna attach that to the notebook and keep them stored together. So let's get into this thing. So what I brought with me was of course this notebook, a bunch of different pens, literally have pen on my hand right now as we speak, and some scissors, my Polaroid zip, as well as this Tombow permanent adhesive like sample thing. Let's zoom in on that. So I brought this, I went through actually two or three of them. We got one of them during a workshop as well. This was like a lifesaver to make it easy to just paste down things that I had like gotten, you'll see. It's just so much easier to have this than like tape or glue. So I definitely recommend this if you wanna do memory keeping. Scissors were a must as well. And of course, different pens. So this is the soft bound Erin Condren notebook. When you open it up, I just added a couple of stickers on this little front page just for fun. And then we get into this, this thing. So I had my packing list over here so I can make sure that I packed everything I wanted to. I condensed it down to my version of the packing list. I actually have one that has both me and Alex. So I just made it with the, just my stuff. And then I also went as extra as to print off the boarding passes. I unfortunately didn't think ahead and save the document for my flight home. I only had my cell phone so I could only do like the cell phone um, boarding pass, but I wish I would have thought of that ahead of time so I could get these um, on the flight home too. Then I also have a little Polaroid zip photo and then I just wrote a little message down here. Oh, another thing, before I left, I did some like pre-decorating with stamps. So you'll see them in the first few pages where I added a couple of stamps here and there. I of course did not bring my stamps with me, but I wanted to add that feature. I also planned and documented as I went along, that's something very different, I think, than most people. But like during the workshops, I wrote down my notes in here and I also like printed off photos at the end of the night. It was something that really helped me relax and enjoy um, remembering the day. And I also made sure that I didn't forget anything. I forgot to mention that there is a vlog of this entire trip. If you want to see footage of any of this stuff, it was my last video. So I will link that above as well as below so you can go check that out. So the first day that I arrived was Thursday and I spent some time with my sister and her husband. We checked out the Bellagio Gardens and we just kind of hung out. So that's what this side is. And then this is when I registered and got like into the hotel and we took a bunch of photos with the Elvis and the showgirls. And this is the little key card that everyone got. So you actually got two. So I left this space open and underneath this, I literally wrote key card. And then I just took the property map of the Hard Rock Hotel so I could remember like where everything was and everything we did. And so I just pasted that down in there. And these are the photos of the first day at the table. So I hung out with Cynthia from Wonton in a Million. Her table was gorgeous. And this was the table I sat in. I was pretty jazzed about the llama. The next page has this um, agenda that I printed myself. Like I said, I did a lot of prep work beforehand. It really helped with my anxiety to like print stuff off ahead of time. So I just took the downloadable schedule and printed it off on sticker paper. So I added that in when the first workshops and everything started. So I took some notes for the boss panel. And then I also took some notes for the all in panel. I found that the panels had the most amount of information I really wanted to remember rather than the workshops. So Erin Condren had a like fireside chat and she gave us all this $10 off your next purchase. So I took a photo of the back of it before I pasted it down in here. And then I was very fortunate enough to be invited to the Go Wild Erin Condren penthouse party. This was the invitation, of course, printed off on sticker paper. So these are photos from the event. It was so unbelievable. You actually have to check out the vlog. Like I'm in a 
like a pit full of balls. It's a bathtub. Like, what is my life? This is just me casually with Aaron Condren. So definitely go check out the video if you want to see this crazy adventure. And then I also took a bunch of selfies with a lot of my gal friends. So I got Lakin, Belinda, Christian Designs, Ashley Ann. This is I Speak Fluent Coffee. This is my favorite daughter, Emily. And then this is Marg from Want our, um, Once More With Love. And then in our swag bags, we got a ton of these dashboards and postcards. And so I wanted to use them as much as I could. So I just started pasting them throughout the book. So then there was a speech from Chrissy Ann Design. So I wrote a couple of notes from her and added some stickers. And then we did this workshop with Amber. Um, Damask Loves. So I just added some of the stickers. There wasn't really much notes. And then this was part of the workshop. So I kind of tried to like paste it in the middle so you could like lift it and flip it. It didn't work out the best, but I think it gets the point across. And then we went to Black Tap. I think it was called Black Tap and had these crazy milkshakes. So this documented the crazy milkshake journey. Another postcard. I also got this little book of the Vegas Strip and just cut out the map, added a little llama for where we were at just to kind of see the uh, Vegas Strip. So this is where I want to put down planned JAMA photos. So these were the um, Sweet Kawaii Design stickers that we got. She also handed out this little washi card as well, but I still have to print these off because a lot of my friends took photos, so I'm still getting them from them so I can add that in here. This was my packing list home. So I make sure I had everything that I brought with me packed. This was the key card that I actually used rather than the Chrissy Ann Designs one. And this one is my, whatchamacallit, my name badge. So the adhesive strip stuff does so well at making sure all of this sticks down. Like I haven't had any issues with anything falling off. This was a photo we took at Planjama between me and Amy from Lilac Pineapple Co. And then I took the time to write out my thoughts. So this first section is right before Planjama and then the rest of it was on the plane home. So I just wrote out some of my thoughts, my feelings, what I didn't expect to happen, what I was happy about, some of my favorite memories. And then I took this spread to write down some of the favorite like wild four things, the things that I just really enjoyed. So I enjoyed traveling by myself, playing JAMA, those giant crazy milkshakes, this memory journal, making new friends, that sort of thing. These are more photos from Plan JAMA. I took a bunch. So these are just some of the fun, crazy ones we took with Jen and Jen and Lakin. And then this is the napkin from the bar. And I got these um, sticky notes in just I think in a swap, so I just added one down there. And this is where I wanna put my glitter carpet photos from um, the Plan Jamo party. So this was hosted by Sweet Kawaii Designs, so I have all of the Sweet Kawaii die cuts over here, but they were taken professionally and they still haven't been posted yet. So I just put this little sticky note here to remind me to do that. And then this is where I'm not like quite sure how to set this up next time. There are a bunch of empty pages, but then I started doing stuff in the back because I wasn't sure how much space I was gonna take up as I was planning, but I wanted to have a space for like autographs and that sort of thing. So if you have any tips to like making sure you count out the right number of pages or whatever, let me know because there is this like huge chunk that I didn't use. But in the back, I took everybody's samplers, like contact cards are really popular right now with stickers. So I got a ton of them, which was super exciting. So I took a sticker or two off of each sampler or all the things I brought or like die cuts and I put them in this collage and I actually made three of them. So I thought this was just a fun way to like remember the event, but also remember like all the swaps and samples. So we got a custom roll of washi tape. So I did a little washi tape dashboard here. And then these are all of the postcards that were in various um, swag bags. And then I also had a bunch of people sign it in various places as well. Because I wanted to keep these postcards, but I just had like no idea what to do with them. So I just put them all in the back. And then if you watched the vlog, you saw that I got this really awesome gift delivered to my hotel room. And these were the little notes inside of that. More signatures, another collage of sample stickers, more signatures, and then the last page is another collage. This is the one I actually first started with, and then it filled up super fast, and a little sticker back here. And then I added a little bow that I got 
and a swap as well. So basically all I tried to do was take the swaps that I got and put them to good use immediately. So that was my memory journal. So let's go into this little pouch. So I have that roll of washi tape that is custom for Go Wild. I also have my lanyard. I think I might cut it up and make it into like one of those ribbon paper clips to stick in here. But for now, it's just tucked into this little planny pack. These are the M&Ms that I got in the goodie bag. They say go wild on them. Like how crazy cool are they? So I'm sure they're gonna go bad, but I just kind of want to have them to remember how cool that was. And then in that goodie bag, there's also these two llama soaps. So I probably will use these eventually, but I just thought they were cute to leave in here. I also have the sticky note pad that has the llama on here. And then I have the tattoo. Erin Condren was doing these temporary tattoos and I'm basically a chicken about doing anything that like goes on your body even permanently. Like I didn't get my face painted or anything like that, but I wanted it. So I just uh, put it in this little planning pack as well. And then I have a ton of poker chips. So at the Erin Condren event, they had a bunch of different colors. And then the booth I was staying at or the table I sat at had one for the two people who did our table swag. So I think this is Miscellany Boulevard and this very crafty mama. And then they also gave us the poker chip for the Hard Rock Hotel. So I have these two, but then I also have a bunch of the Erin Condren ones from the event. There is also a Villa Beautiful Go Wild pen in here as well that Jen Ross gave to me. So that is everything that I'm keeping in the planning pouch. So there you guys go, the flip through of my memory book. I loved the process so much. I definitely will be doing this more in the future. I think I'll just have like one book for the next upcoming conferences because I don't think I'll have as much stuff as I did with this one. So I'll just use one book at a time. I think that'll really help too with the pages in the middle if I just start from the beginning and just keep going. And I also really enjoyed the process of doing it in the moment. It kept all the ideas fresh and all the photos and everything. So I definitely recommend doing that. Of course, adhesive tape, like I said, super important pro tip. Have a pair of scissors with you in your Polaroid zip with a bunch of extra backup photo paper as well. But if you aren't gonna like print your photos as you go along, use sticky notes to mark like which photos you wanna add where, that way you leave the space. Definitely let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in those comments if you have any tips or tricks for me since this was my first one. I definitely have a lot of learning to do so I would love to hear how you guys do your memory keeping. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.